Hey kids, my name is Brianna and this is Alexis and we are so excited that you're here with us today. Yes, we are because at Valley Creek Kids, hope is here, everyone is welcome and Jesus changes everything. Yes, so today we're gonna start things off by playing a game together. That's right. Kids, if you're ready for game time, I need you to shout, I'm ready, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. I'm ready! What do you think, Alexis? Do they sound mm -hmm. ready? I think we should do that one more time. Okay. Just to make sure. Are you guys ready for game time? Shout, I'm ready, as loud as you can. One, two, three. I'm ready! All right, there we go. Let's check in to see what we're playing today. Hello kids. Today we are going to play a game called Guess That Sound. Here is how it works. I will play a sound and you have to guess what that sound is. Ready? Listen close. What do you think that sound is? I will play it one more time. Listen close. It is time to guess that sound. Shout out your answer in 3, 2, 1, go. If you said plane, you are correct. Great job. Let's do another one. Listen close. What do you think that sound is? I will play it one more time. Listen close. It is time to guess that sound. Shout out your answer in three, two, one, go. If you said a horse trotting, you are correct. Great job, kids. Let's do another one. Listen close. What do you think that sound is? I will play it one more time. Listen close. It is time to guess that sound. Shout out your answer in 3, 2, 1, go. If you said a blender, you are correct. Great job. Let's do another one. Listen close. What do you think that sound is? I will play it one more time. Listen close. It is time to guess that sound. Shout out your answer in three, two, one, go. If you said an ax hitting a tree, you are correct. Great job kids. Time for the last sound. Are you ready? Here we go. What do you think that sound is? I will play it one more time. Listen close. It is time to guess that sound. Shout out your answer in 3, 2, 1, go. If you said a seagull, you are correct. Great job kids. That was so much fun. Thanks for playing. See you next time. Bye. Good job guys, thank you for playing. Okay, now we are all going to stand up and shout out the four truths that we always remember. That's right. These truths remind us of who God is and what He has done for us. Stand up everyone, come on! God is good to me. Jesus has forgiven me no matter what. I am loved for who I am. I am God's kid. Everything is possible with Jesus! Awesome job! Today we are discovering more about the truth that I am loved. You see, God loves us so much that He doesn't want us to ever have to live life alone. Yeah, He sent Jesus to make a way for us to be part of His family. 
so that we could have a relationship with him now and forever. Oh, wow, now we get to live life in relationship with God, our good father and friend. As a matter of fact, he is here with us right now, so let's spend some time with him. Yeah, it's time to worship. If you sat down, go ahead and stand back up. Let's worship. Thanks for worshiping with us, everyone. Go ahead and sit back down and settle in as we discover that in Jesus, we are friends with God. Hey kids, I'm Sarah and this is my friend, Jed. Howdy there, kids. We sure are glad you're here with us. We are. And today we are discovering that in Jesus, we are friends with God. Yes, and do I have some questions about that, Miss Sarah. First of all, what? Since when? The big guy up in the sky is my friend, creator of heaven and earth, king of kings, that guy? Yes, he is, Jed. God wants to have a relationship with every single one of us. He does? All of us? Yeah. The Bible tells us that God doesn't want us to go through life alone. He invites us into relationship with him. As a matter of fact, God's son, Jesus, came to earth and defeated sin and death so that nothing could ever stand in the way of us having a relationship with God. So because of what Jesus did, we get to be friends with God? That's right. That's God's heart for us, for us to know him and have a relationship with him. Check it out. In John 15, 15, Jesus told his disciples, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. 
right there, Jesus was saying that God doesn't want us to just go around and do a bunch of stuff for him like servants. Instead, he wants to be our friend. He wants to know us and for us to know him. Really? Yeah. Jed, kids, there's actually a story in the Bible that I would love to share with you guys. It's all about this. Oh, well, let's hear it then. Come on now, it's story time. All right, hang on. We're ready, here we go. This Bible story starts in Mark 3. Jesus had been with crowds of people, teaching them and healing them. When he left and went up on a mountainside, away from the crowds. But Jesus didn't go by himself. He invited 12 of his followers to come with him, inviting them to come and spend time with him as his friends. There on the mountain, Jesus appointed the 12 to be his disciples, giving them authority to go out and teach people about the love of God and heal people with his power. So that's what they did. The 12 disciples continued to travel with Jesus, teaching and doing miracles. They got to bring hope to others. Wow, so it's like you said, they got to know Jesus and do things with him. They were his friends. That's right. And then the Bible tells us that even after Jesus left earth and went to heaven to be with God, God's spirit was still with the disciples, moving through them everywhere they went as they continued to share hope. Jed, kids, those 12 disciples were Jesus's friends, God's friends. Jesus called them to be with him. They walked together, talked together, laughed together, cried together, ate together. They did everything together and he never gave up on them. He never left them. He never abandoned them. Even after Jesus left earth, the Holy Spirit was with them always, like he's with us today. Wow. Jesus sounds like a really good friend, don't he? Yes, and guess what? That is the kind of friendship that God invites us to, too. The God of the universe, who has all power and authority, who created heaven and earth, who raises the dead and heals the sick, calls you by name and says, you are my friend. That's amazing. I can hardly believe it. Hey, God, I'm real glad to be friends with you. This is great news. Although, Miss Sarah, Usually I can see my friends when we hang out, like dis the disciples even. They were walking and talking with Jesus right here on earth. But I mean, where is God? Do I have to go up to heaven to hang out with them? Just go right on up, ring the door, but hey God, what's up man, hey dad? No, Jed, not at all. Remember, after Jesus left earth, God gave us the Holy Spirit. When we become beloved sons and daughters in God's family, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of us. The Holy Spirit is God, His presence. Jesus told the disciples in John 14, I will ask the Father and He will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit coming to be with us. The Holy Spirit is our best friend. He is our comforter, our guide, and our encourager. Okay, so the Holy Spirit, God, is with me to be my friend no matter where I am. Yeah. Now, remember, Miss Sarah, I live on a ranch out in the middle of nowhere. I don't even have good phone service or a technical address registered with the city. Are you sure the Holy Spirit can find me out there? Yes, Jed, I'm sure. As a beloved son or daughter in God's family, no matter where you are, what you are doing, or even what time it is, God, the Holy Spirit, is with you. It's really not a question of, is God with me? It's a question of, am I aware that God is with me? Woo that sure is a good question. Okay, so if I know God is with me and he's my friend, what do we do to hang out? How do I be his friend? Should I take him out for some ice cream or something? Well, Jed, kids, what do you usually do with your friends? Oh, 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 well, for starters, we spend time together. Some of my friends are ranchers just like me, so we like to hang out in the field, roping, fishing, playing horseshoes, cornhole, hoops and sticks, whatever, you know. Wow, okay, so you spend time together, that's awesome. Now, when you're spending time together in the field, uh, roping, cornhole, all the things, do you guys talk at all? Oh yeah, you know, we'll talk about our life, we'll talk about our cows, we'll talk about whether or not the pond's high, pond's low. Sometimes 
We even make a fire, roast marshmallows, and talk around that campfire. That's great, Jed. It is. My friends always ask me questions about my life and stuff because they care about me, and I care about them. I love my friends. I bet you do. Now, because you love your friends, Jed, do you ever do anything to help them or serve them? Oh, of course. One time, Brooklyn, she wasn't feeling so good. So I went over and brought her some soup. Some might call it stew because it's thicker than most soups, but where I come from, it's soup because it ain't as thick as stew. It was a real tasty recipe my mama used to make me, and then I realized she needed some help taking care of her ranch because, you know, she won't feel so good. So I helped her out, and I mended some fences and, and just picked up around the farmhouse, you know? Well, that's awesome, Jed. It sounds like you're a great friend to Brooklyn. So let's review. So one, you spend time with your friends, right? Hanging out and enjoying things together. Mm -hmm. uh, and then two, you talk to each other, right? Oh, yeah. Not just about boring stuff like the weather, but oh, about no. real things like your life, yeah. listening and asking questions. And three, you serve each other. You do things to help your friends because you love them. That sounds just about right. Yeah, well, guess what? You can do those same things with God. I can? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. Here, let's talk about it. What are some ways that we can spend time with God? Hmm. Well, every week here in Valley Creek Kids, we say we want to spend time with God in worship. That's right. We can worship. We can read the Bible because scripture is God's word. It's him talking to us. Or we can also just invite God to be part of our whole entire day. We can say, hey, God, will you help me be aware that you are with me today? And then all day long, you can know that he is with you in whatever you're doing. OK, I can do that. God, get ready. We're about to have so much fun hanging out. I bet you are, Jed. OK, so next one. How do we talk to God? Well, we talk to God when we pray, right? Yeah, we do. Prayer is talking to God. We can tell him about our day and how we're feeling. We can ask him questions. We can listen to see what he's saying because God does speak to us. OK, now what was that last thing again, Miss Sarah? Oh, serving each other. When we love our friends, we do things for them. Well, how do we serve God? He don't need nothing from me. He's got all the stuff and he can do anything he wants. Well, that's that's true, Jed. God doesn't need our help. But when we know how much he loves us and serves us, our natural response is to want to express that back to him. So how do we serve God then? Well, a great way to serve God is by serving his people. In the Bible, Matthew 25, 40 says, Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. So guys, you can ask God to show you how to serve the people in your life. You can ask him to show you how to meet their needs. Maybe it's just like you said earlier, and you give your friend a bowl of soup when they're sick, or you do something kind for someone else. Okay, now, do you know what sounds kind of fun about that, Miss Sarah? What, Jed? Well, it sounds like really, serving people can also be another way for us to spend time with God, because we're talking to him, asking him to be with us and to help us see how to meet people's needs. Yes, you are exactly right, Jed. Even when we are serving God, we aren't just doing things for him. We are doing things with him. I am very much looking forward to this friendship. Me and God are going to have a great time together. I am sure you are, Jed. So kids, today we discovered that in Jesus, we are friends with God. God loves us and he is with you. Let's spend some time being aware of his presence right now as we pray. Can you all go ahead and close your eyes to tune out distractions and hold out your hands like this to show that you are ready to receive what God has for you today? Yes, we can, Miss Sarah. All right, let's pray. Jesus, thank you for making a way for us to have a relationship with God. Because of you, there is nothing that stands in between us and God. God loves us. He is with us. He is for us. And so, Jesus, would you just help us to be more aware of his presence in our life every single day? I declare that we will partner with God, that we will live in relationship with him. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Awesome. You guys can go ahead and open your eyes. Thanks for joining us today. That's all we have for now, right, Miss Sarah? That's right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.
So in Jesus, I am friends with God and you are too. Let's spend some more time with God right now and worship him together. Jesus, you are my friend. You want to know me. Your love never ends. You are always with me. Your love is for me. Man, we love worshiping with all of you. You can go ahead and sit back down. Today, we discovered that in Jesus, we are friends with God. He never wants us to be alone. That's right. In fact, check out what the Bible says in Hebrews 13, 5. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Guys, God loves you and he will never leave you. He has called us his friend and he is with us no matter what. How about we all go ahead and say that scripture together so that we remember how much God loves us. Let's do it. Everyone repeat after me. Never will I leave you. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Never will I forsake you. Hebrews 13, five. Hebrews 13, five. Great job, everyone. Before we go, let's go ahead and say our four truths together one more time. Ready? Ready. God is good. Jesus has forgiven me. I am loved and everything is possible. All right, we'll see y'all later. Bye.